Ever since I arrived in Austin, I've always found shelters like this. I've been displaced for five long years. We local trappers around the area and all. I just. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna give it to you. A man killed behind this HEB. Echo estimates there are more than 5,000 homeless in Austin currently. For what reason? I do not know. Only them can tell us this information. And that's why we're gonna talk to as many homeless people as we can today to get their story and to see life from their perspective. What's your name, sir? Roosevelt. What's your story? Uh, I'm just out here trying to make it, man, really. Is this by choice? What happened? Yeah, it's by choice, because uh, I just I got out of prison about a year and a half ago. I did two years for uh, unauthorized use of a motor vehicle. I borrowed somebody's car, and I was just I was just riding, riding around in a jaw riding. They call it jaw riding in court. Are you trying to live clean now? Oh, yeah, I'm trying to live clean. Ain't nobody came by and asked me uh, for housing yet, and I'm 65 years old. How long have you been on the streets for in Austin? A year and nine months. A year and nine months? You've been on the street like this? Like this. Do you, do you have a job? I try to do windows. I try to do windows at the red light. I'm, some will help you and some won't. Sooner or later, a car gonna come by and give me what? 10 or 15 dollars or something. How do you wash your clothes though? When I you know, brush I just throw them away. You see, I just throw them away. So those are your clothes right yeah, there? Yeah, I just throw them away. What was your dream as a child? I don't even know, man. Hell, I wasn't dreaming about being nothing or somebody. Or I was just trying to live life. Friend, what's your name, bro? Yeah, so what's, what's that with being in there? You know, they call me Pizza John Carleon, you know what I'm saying? If I'm on YouTube, Pizza John Carleon, you know. Oh, you say, you're a YouTuber too, right? You say you're a YouTuber, YouTube. yeah. Yeah, you do YouTube? Yeah, yeah, Pizza John Carleon. You got a girlfriend? Uh, you work? Trap, man. I'm oh, you trap. Okay, I'm a local trap star, you know what I'm saying? So if I need some, I, I can talk to you. Come talk to me. I'm wrong. Like, why are they on the floor like that? Because are they okay? Yeah, yes, they are, right, but they just don't want to help themselves. You know, you just don't help them more, they want to be helped. What are you doing? I'm 27 years old, man. I've been out here since about 20. Seven years, you've been on the street. Yeah. Damn. Do you plan on like getting out? Yeah, How? yeah, yeah. I got How? a crib and everything, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you already got a crib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're just hanging out with your friends. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got a drug possession and I got out. My family wanted nothing to do with me. And I'd been living on the streets since. Do, do you think a lot of homeless people get into um, crimes? Well, uh, shoplifting here and there. Now it works out better. And then people will laugh and I make like 30, 40 a day. Do you still use drugs? I just drink and smoke weed. I used to do crack and shoot coke and shoot meth and smoke meth and do acids. How's your mental health doing? Oh, I feel real good, but uh, yeah, the thing is, it was damaging to my health, uh, the drinking for the most part. Have you tried looking for a job? Well, I can't get my ID. I applied through Trinity. We sent it off and it just never came. Birth certificate. So they just make it hard for people who are displaced to get an ID in order to get a job? Yeah, and then I got three felonies and yeah. Mm -hmm. I got I got arthritis in my hip. When I was in prison, I got a hip replacement on this side. This side was carrying that side. Now, now this side carrying that side. Cause the bone, the bone went from from my hip, from my hip all the way right here. And then it takes so long to go to the doctor. They want you to uh, they want you to wait around, wait around, wait around four, five, six, seven, eight months, or something like that. A lot of people have this idea. You see someone on the street that doesn't have a home. That person is lazy. It ain't that. It ain't that. Uh, see, somebody that want to help themselves, they can help themselves. Like I always tell them, if you get one of these here, you get one of these here, and just try. That's all you got to do. Is it keeps me from holding one of them signs up, begging, try. If you try in life, you're doing good. You didn't give up. If you don't try, you gave up. Like them people that hold the signs, and be at these uh, stores and just begging for change and money and stuff like that, they gave up. I've been displaced for five long years. How about you, ma'am? Um, for about 800,000 years. I practice magic. So I'm a it. puppet master. What has been the hardest part about being, you know, displaced? Um, getting our stuff stolen every day by other people. 
Like Cletus. Are you guys married? Are you guys in a relationship? Yeah, we've been married for, what, 25 years now? Probably Maybe since I was about six. No, I don't know. Shit, that makes me look um, awful. Do y'all have kids? Um, no. No like, kids? Not yet. This is my kid. Who, who is your kid? Me? I'm her kid this husband. Is my kid. <laughs> um, Do you plan on having kids? I have four them? kids. You have four? We have four kids. With other guys since we've been out here. Oh, with other men? Yeah, since we've been out here, <laughs> we're faithful. The other like, men. Yeah, I never want to meet them. Ever. Why? Because fuck that. Guy. You don't want to be a stepfather. I'm jealous? I'll be like, yo, I'm going to break this kid's neck. And I get jumped <laughs> by her kids? <laughs> <laughs> How old are your kids? How old are they? Um. They're 9, 10, 12, 13. Where, where did they live? With the fathers? In San Marcos. With their, fa with their uh, dads or? With their grandmother and their, their aunt. Facilities. And their <laughs> correctional facilities. Yeah, with their grandmother. Is this your living room? Uh, this or is this your bedroom? It depends on what we feel like. Yeah, this is where we create. Um, where we nub. We nub, definitely. Um, Wait, you what? Nub. nub. Don't ask what nubbing is, but um. I think I have an idea. I'm particularly, <laughs> I, I'm particularly un. I, I, Thank thanks you. for hitting on him now, right in front of me. I'm unendowed completely, so nubbing is a fun term. <laughs> Friend, he's all right. He's all right. This is part of my life. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm a, I'm a veteran. You're a what? Do you know him? No. <laughs> what is he trying to do? He's trying to get you something or what? He was trying to get me to trade him one thing for another. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh. Well, uh, what do you do for work though? I uh, work at Whole Foods. Whole Foods? At the dock. The Target and Whole Foods at the, yeah. So you, you have a job? Yeah. How, how long have you been doing that for? I've been doing that for maybe nine, do you have a place you stay? I Wait. haven't been able to get uh, everything together with the situation I'm in to uh What is the situation? Well, I'm being fucked by uh, the bank I bank with. I have a direct deposit from the military going straight to them and they split it up and only give me a thousand dollars out of ten thousand dollars a month. I, I find stuff and people buy it for me just to help me out. How much does this painting go for? That painting, I'll probably get 13 for it. $13? Yeah, that's all I'm gonna ask for it. I believe so. I've seen a bunch of people get off the street and uh, and stay off the street. So I had I had expectations to come home to the things that I've already paid for and bought when I went to when I when I answered the call of, of, of from from the military. And then I come back and I can't I can't do that and I didn't have any other plans. How do you work it when like it rains? What do you do? Um, I get all up inside her, man, so I can stay dry, bro, because I turn her off completely. Rain is the death of camps a lot of times. Like you'll see camps get like destroyed, people displaced, babies crying. It's horrible. I can't anymore. Um, do you think the government is helping enough? Um, I think that um. No, um, I think that they're doing what they can, but I think that they could do more. I've never been offered a voucher or um, a hotel voucher or anything, or you know what I mean, like anything like that, uh, since I've been homeless not once. I'm still on a housing list where I've seen others that have been homeless for like a month. Um, yo, yo, stop. Stop. Um, yeah, anyway, um, so, uh, and I've seen homeless people that have been homeless a month and they've already got housing and stuff, so. Or like maybe I should just go down there and be like, hey, mother, f you know, yeah. but I, I don't think that's tactful. Do you believe in God? Yeah, I believe in God, man. And people that don't believe in God, they, they the stupid mother hubbers. They are real stupid. I done talked to some people that, that say they don't like God, that God doing this. I told them God ain't doing a damn thing to you. You doing it to yourself. God the one waking you up every morning. Do you think God brought you here or you brought yourself here? Well, uh... God leads you to places. God leads you to places where you can where you can try to help yourself. You know, you know. God is good, man. And my my father, he's, he's my dad. He's still in a lot in a world somewhere alive. Oh, okay. How about your mom? She's right here. She she, she passed away, but she's right here. So, three brothers and three three sisters. Do you live with them? 
Yeah, my, my brother, my little brother Joe, so I just saw him uh, go. Work, do you work? No, we got all the money on us already. This bitch is off that bullshit. So you have money, you don't work? Okay. It's kind of degrading for us because it's kind of like a gypsy nomadic lifestyle. For some of us, uh, it's a choice and others it's not an option. It's uh, a necessity to survive. Is yours a choice or? It, it, Mine's a choice. Why do, you, why do you choose to be homeless? Because uh, it's a concept that has humbled me to the fullest. I don't know what it is. It's a, I just would like to cover my basic needs and a few wants every here and again. But uh, my desire for wealth and all of that other stuff has been gone. You want help? I want donations. Donations? People can donate. Okay. And I have no discrimination towards the donation, you know? Busy is what we need in this world. A little bit more empathy and compassion. Latinos, uh, Mexicans and stuff, we are Native Americans because we're uh, Central, South, and uh, North Americans. The New World Natives are as diverse as Austin, you know? You can have any race, any color, but we're the New World Natives now. Yeah. And we're entitled to a reservation, to some land, and to some properties, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And we need to dig into that because it's in the American Indian Affairs concepts and stuff. So you'll utilize donations from corporate America, that way we can relieve them from payment to Uncle Sam, you know? Yeah. So however you see it or whatever, it's just, uh, I I'm thinking of concepts that are uh, diverse, you know, and uh, will help the community, the lower caste community survive. And that's all I have for you guys today. After getting acquainted with these guys and spending a day with them, it's been eye-opening for me and it's a reminder that not everybody you see on the street is there at will. With that being said, let's have open hands, bless people as we feel touch and call to keep an open mind and keep asking questions. If you enjoyed this video, please comment. I really wanna hear what you guys think about the topic like and share with other people as well make sure you subscribe so you can see new videos and i'll see you shortly oh and if you like this video you're probably gonna like this one right here